How I first heard about Already Been Chewed is just seeing on Instagram all this amazing digital artwork, motion graphics and things like that, where I, as a graphic artist, design graphics and apparel and things like this, but I have no idea about the world of motion graphics or anything digital crazy. When I decided to drop our first NFT, obviously, I reached out. I had no idea that the people behind ABC were actually skaters. I just knew that they worked with people from the skate industry. I got a DM on Instagram and it was from Nikki Diamonds. And I was like, wait, what? So I've been a huge fan of Diamond Supply Co. ever since they were actually a really small brand and have just watched Diamond Supply Co. and, and Nick just kill it over the years. And, you know, he's a pioneer and an innovator in our industry, everything from really establishing expensive sneakers when he created the Tiffany Dunk years ago, and then all the way to like some of his original merch where he had like the Iron Maiden diamond collab shirt, which is like one of my all time favorite shirts. So you can imagine how happy I was when I saw this DM come in from Nick. When I reached out from Barton, he was like, man, you know, I, I'm a fan of Diamond. I'm from the skate industry. I've been doing this stuff for, you know, 10, 20 years, however long it was. I was blown away. I was like, this is amazing. What a perfect marriage of brands to work together coming both from skateboarding. So he was excited to get into the NFT space and we were doing things with NFT and we were working on a variety of projects there. So it was really cool to think that like Nick already knew about Already Been Chewed and knew that that was the place he wanted to go to. The first NFT that I did with Already Been Chewed was this collaboration with Ben Baller and we had this melting basketball. It was super sick. So we worked with Nick on releasing a Diamond Supply Co, Nikki Diamonds, Ben Baller, NFT collab. Dropped a couple of those and it went really well. And then we talked about doing a collab with ABC and Diamond Supply Co. Nick wanted to make sure there was physical merch to go with the NFTs. That gave me kind of like a bucket list dream opportunity to be able to design not only a board graphic, but then have it turn into a line of apparel as well. I didn't know what they were gonna design because I let them kind of take their own approach to a diamond collaboration. And the way it came out, I was like, this looks like something that I would want to design myself. It was really cool. It wasn't like, you know, sometimes I'll do collaborations with people and it just looks left field, like nothing like anything we would make, right? So then I have to go back and be like, well, let's change this because it doesn't really make sense for the brand. But actually with this, I didn't even have any comments to change anything. I was like, this looks dope. I like it, let's run it. So in working on the artwork uh, and knowing that Nick has used diamond mining as a theme, I wanted to kind of incorporate what we do as 3D artists and having created some NFTs with Nick and just thinking about the fact that GPUs are typically what you're doing crypto mining with. We're doing all of this 3D animation and rendering. So you're using the same equipment and things like that that you would to mine Bitcoin or Dogecoin or things like that. And there's a huge shortage on GPUs throughout the world right now. And I'm probably part of the problem <laughs> and the reason for that shortage because we have 40 some GPUs at our studio. And so in thinking of a way to kind of create a theme for all of this, came up with diamond crypto miners uh, because a lot of the diamond apparel in the past had been diamond miners. In the collection of boards, uh, each one's different. If you grab the whole collection, you'll have one board that says diamond, one board that says crypto, and one board that says miners, and they hang in that order if you're able to grab the whole series. I love the idea of dropping this collaboration with the Barracks, because back in the early days of the Barracks, we did multiple Barracks times diamond collaborations and drop on their website, and it was amazing just to involve the Barracks community with something like this, which is based on cryptocurrency, NFTs, the metaverse, and things that we're really interested in now that we're pushing forward. I thought it'd be cool to include Barracks community to see this and ask questions like, what is this? Steve flew out to the ABC studio in Texas to film this skater owned series. And while he was there, he was really enamored with a lot of the artwork around our studio that we had created and hung on the wall in the form of skateboards, canvases. And in particular, we had 
one of the upcoming NFTs that were animated versions of the apparel line that you see. And that was projected on a TV in our studio. And when he noticed that, uh, he started asking me questions and I was telling him all about the, the collab coming up. He mentioned, well, let's drop it on the barracks. Of course, you get into anyone's space and you want to look at all their cool stuff that they just take for granted every day. And for a company like ABC, there's so much cool stuff kind of lying around on people's screens and some in real life. Barton showed me the stuff, the diamond collab that he was doing and I selfishly inserted myself into the equation. I was like, wow, really? That's gonna be epic. Like we got Nikki Diamonds, Steve Barra, two huge legends in the skateboard industry, and both of them are interested in dropping this ABC collab. Amazing, let's do it. Then I was telling Kareem Campbell about it because I actually met Kareem Campbell years ago in Texas. When Bart first hit me regarding to do this, I was, I was already in. I mean, he already knows once he calls me, I'm in. But it was like, then when he told me that, he's like, oh, I'm gonna be doing this with Nikki Diamond from Diamond, which, you know, I'm already affiliated. Steve Barrett from Barracks, which I'm already affiliated. It was just like, you're doing it with the family, you know what I mean? When I first moved to Los Angeles, Kareem was my first friend. And he had like a, a gosh, it had to have been a 70s, probably late 70s Volkswagen Rabbit that had a sound system in it that drained the battery. Every time we went to go skate, he would turn off his car, pop his hood, and then unhook it from his battery. Otherwise, we'd go skate, come back, and the car would be dead and wouldn't start. I always remember that about him and why I still love him to this day. Kareem Campbell being involved is super amazing. Already been chewed, is based in Texas, and Kareem has been in Texas for a long time. I grew up skating around Kareem Campbell, and we all kind of just, you know, I've known Kareem, he's been on Diamond hardware team since the very beginning in 1998. So it's just amazing having him be part of the project. I've always really admired Nick because he was so prolific about how he did stuff and his design. And, and he was very smart and very early on with a lot, of the, a lot of stuff. And he created a lot of trends in skating. So it was kind of a dope thing though. And it's like from his expansion to where he was at and then I'm actually going there and seeing all the different companies that he's dealing with. They're, they're so much bigger than what skateboarding is, but for him to go to his grassroots, I thought that was amazing, you know what I mean? And just to do what he's doing. So the minute he actually introduced it, I was like, shit, I'm in all levels. I'm going everything. I'm mining, I'm crypto, and I'm diamond. I'm everywhere. 